Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this reveal on scroll effect to your blogger website. Let me show you a demo first of all. So I'll refresh my page and we can see that the animation that these elements have and when we scroll down we can see that when the element is in frame the animation happens and if we go back we can see that the animation goes back to the earlier state and in the same way we also have the third heading and elements so this is what we're going to add to our blogger website and if you want to see how we created this from scratch using a library you can watch that video i'll leave the link in the description below but for this video we'll just add this effect to our blogger website so let's get started First of all log into your blogger website and uh, I have logged into the dashboard and uh, we can create a post or a page whatever we want according to your needs so I'll create a page so I'll go to pages and click on this plus icon and we'll give some title over here so we'll just type features of our product alright so let's go ahead and uh, switch to the HTML mode when you're creating a page or a post in blogger by default it shows the compose view so this is the compose view we can type anything you want and we can add images insert videos and all those things you can even make the text bold or headline or change the color of the text and all those things but if you want to add some custom design to your page then you have to switch to the HTML view so you can click on this button called HTML view or if you're using the older version of blogger you can find the HTML view button over here somewhere on the left All right, so let's switch to the HTML view and uh, let's open the source code this is the source code and the link of the source code will be available in the description below All right, so let's copy this uh, container section from here all the way till it ends and we'll copy all this and paste it over here in our HTML view All right, now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to change the source of the images right now it is set to images slash the name of the image but uh, the images folder is not available in our blogger website so we have to first of all upload the image and then add the URL of the image over here so we have to do the same with all the images so we have three images in our design so to add an image you have to go to the compose mode so let's click on this button again and uh, this is the image tag let's click on that and uh, let's click on this button called insert image and we'll click on upload from computer and then just click on browse and here is my project reveal on scroll so let's go to the images folder and these are the three images let's select the first image and click on open and the first image has been added so let's go back to the HTML view and uh, here we can see that a complete division has been added from here till here now the only thing we want from this is the link of the image that's the only reason we inserted the image so let's copy this href from here this is the link of the image and we'll paste it in the src of our image so let's select this and we'll replace it with the link of the image and that's it with the image now we can safely delete this code that was generated now you need to do the same with both the other images so let's go back to the compose view and uh, we'll select the img we are selecting the img because uh, once you select it the image will be uploaded somewhere around this img tag so let's click on insert image click on upload and then click on browse we'll select the second image and in the same way we'll do with the third image right now let's go back to the HTML view and we'll just replace the SRC with the new link so just copy the href 
and paste it over here and uh, then just delete the code that was generated we'll do the same with the last image all right that's it with our page now let's go ahead and publish this now our page has been published now let's go ahead and add the css so let's go to theme and click on customize and then click on advanced and then go to add css and then uh, we'll go to our source code and we'll just select all the CSS and uh, we'll just paste it over here and then click on apply to blog and we'll go back to blogger now there's one more thing we need to do that is uh, we need to add the links of this AOS library so the link of the CSS and the link of the JavaScript and also this line of code so let's copy this link from here and uh, we'll go over here to theme and then click on this options button and go to edit HTML and inside the head tag we will just paste our link and uh, then we'll just copy these lines of code from here and uh, we'll go to the end of our theme code and uh, just before the body ends we'll just paste these lines of code and that's basically it so let's go ahead and save the theme Let's go back to Blogger and let's go to Pages and see whether everything is working all right. And the animation is working all right, but uh, there's some issue with the image. So let's right click on this and click on Inspect and uh, let's see how we can solve that so we have selected the image tag and here we can see section container img and the width is set to 400 and uh, the height is not being set so let's just set the height to auto so that it will have the correct proportions and uh, it works all right and everything is working all right so that's the only thing we need to do we need to set the height of the image to auto so let's go back to our uh, theme code and we'll click on this options button and go to edit HTML and uh, let's search for the CSS and if we scroll down to the end of the CSS we can see that uh, our latest styles are being pasted over here and this is the code we want section container IMG so let's add a height of auto and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, save the theme so the theme has been saved so let's go ahead and uh, reload this page and uh, everything is working all right let's uh, scroll down and the animation is also working all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day